Okay, we're here with Sandra and her son Michael, Michael and he's diagnosed with Hi, autism. Mike. And you're here with your 40th session of both that? Yeah, we're almost at 40, 40 hours. Sessions, 40 40 hours. So, he's, um, so he's made huge improvements. He's, he had language before we came here. He had words. So, for example, he would say, where is apple juice, if he wanted apple juice. Then, after about the first week, he was going, I am apple juice. <laughs> and then, now he's going, I want apple juice. In the morning, he's saying, I want apple juice. And then, he's gotten to the point where he's applying it to other things. So, he's, like, after 40 hours, he's made huge gains. That's great. Stuff so, that's and he'll tell you what the weather is. Yeah, he can, he'll tell you what the weather is. It's sunny outside, windy, rainy. So, which he wasn't cognizant of that before, but he's also, um, he's, doing, he's doing more imitating and he's, um, I don't know, he's, he's just, he's made huge improvements. Like, he's just, it's like he's, just a little bit of a fog was lifted and I can hardly believe see the games he's made. Yeah, a couple of times he's learned people's names. He's we're, we're working on, hi, how are you, because he's normally not into introductions. He'll walk right past, so we're working on that. But he, yeah, he's picking up the goodbyes just fine, so. Okay, well, we'll let him go. <laughs> yeah. well, that's great, that's so, good news yeah. and stuff. And uh, were you on uh, sort of a supplement regime or anything? Yeah, stuff he takes like a variety of vitamins. He's on the gluten-free, casein-free diet and all that stuff. All that, all that stuff, I think, was excellent to a point. So right. then, it's kind of like a, it was kind of at a plateau. And for him, he just, like I said, huge, huge gains. So this was there goes. The <laughs> <laughs> huge gains. And, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. And this, this is Kendra, his twin sister. Yeah. Not the same. So she still doesn't have any language, but she's. Um, she seemed to understand a little bit more. There's been, she's been, uh, she's always got a pleasant disposition right. as long as she's getting her way. <laughs> so, well, that's pretty normal for a lot of kids. But um, there's like a little bit more clarity that you can see, but the changes in her are more subtle. And like I said, still no language. So I think she could use some more. Is there any nonverbal? indicators that you might have she's picked up tried on. to like she's been making a lot more sounds she's done more vocalizing um, she before it was kind of a little bit like ma 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 da 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 but now she's added ba na ga yeah. whatever and she's trying to we're doing head and shoulders last night and very she's like you can see her trying to process it you can see it trying to come out it's not quite there and she we were, like my mom and I both heard her say toes, but it was like toe, toe, toe. But she's trying. But she's trying. And you can see that like trying, which makes me think if she could just get that little bit more help, maybe she'll get there. But you can see that she wants to. Right. Which is great. Yeah. But I mean there's obviously there's something there that's not making it quite happen for her. So I'm just hoping that maybe a little bit more will yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. I just want to ask again about the supplements. Um, I won't take too much longer. Yeah. I know you mentioned taking supplements. Did anything change in the supplements? Did it stay the same while you're doing the hyperbaric? Okay, that's great. Just yeah. so people watching know that. You know, they, 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 and they were just taking. Totally, we'd already we kind of toned it down before we got here, but they're taking um, they're taking a multivitamin, which is Cindion. They're taking NeuroPro, which is um, from AOR supplements and like not too heavy like we were doing a lot a lot a lot of supplements and you now we've narrowed it down to like some enzymes probiotic those other things so it wasn't Andrew, no, no, no. But, it, but it, I just want to make sure that's the variable that's that's changed since then so it, it yeah. absolutely because yeah. the other stuff hadn't changed and then um, I, I just mean like when we originally started this whole journey they were taking a ton of vitamins we've narrowed it down and then this was our next step and then right. bang like Michael hadn't put all those words together and now all of a sudden it's just like I said, a, like a little bit of a fog lifted and he's putting things together like he's doing great. Well, that's good to hear and stuff. What about sleeping? I read in a book, I think it might have been Jenny McCarthy's book that uh, that sometimes they have problems sleeping and after hyperbaric they're sleeping. He's, he, yeah, he's not, he wasn't doing, he 
originally when he first got diagnosed, he would never sleep through the night. So yeah. from like birth till over two years old, he would never sleep through the night. It, I think kind of being on the diet and whatever made that a little bit better. He also had an operation that made it a little bit better, but um, he sleeps soundly through the night now. Kendra never had those problems. Because oh, yeah. Michael did have some GI problems, more so than she did, and I think that was waking him up. But they are, after being here, they're, yeah, they're sleeping fine. So you can't really say it had a big change or effect on them, because you're saying basically they're sleeping pretty well and stuff. And, but you can see they're a little bit more like, they, I'd say maybe a little bit longer now. Oh, a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah. So how, are, how did they adjust after all these sessions to going into the tank? Um, the first session they screamed and cried, by the second one they were kind of fussing over the collar and now they're just used to it. And they, and they, they walk in, they hold our hands, they walk in, they uh -huh. see everybody, they're fine. They say goodbye to everybody when we leave, so, well, Michael does, but... Um, so they're fine, they're totally used to it now. Okay, so I guess the last question comes to mind, the stuff that is hyperbaric sort of met your expectations, if, you know, I'm not sure if you came in with expectations, or? Um, well, I'd already heard lots of good things, so, um, with, but with Michael still, it, I'd say, exceeded. With okay. Kendra, I'm still kind of crossing my fingers and hoping that maybe she'll, she'll get there. Absolutely.